There we go, there we go. Thank you. 2 d 2 saving my butt. Welcome, everybody. Welcome to the stream. Tons of people showing up today. We got Akko, we got Mercenary, we got 2D2, we got Jaded. Welcome, everybody. I was saying, bootleg me channel, this is literally what, what this song is. If you guys aren't familiar with Ludwig as a content creator, he recently released some copyright-free music uh, that he's asking people to use. And so we're listening to his knockoff we ch me channel music. <laughs> Which is actually hilarious that you guys honed in on that like almost immediately. You guys are professionals. Yeah, if you guys want to see, this is Ludwig's second channel, Ludwig and Schlatt's Music Emporium. As long as you credit them, uh, you can use all their music. So this is the their We Shop song instead of the Me Shop song, which I think is hilarious. But yeah, they're doing good work out there, and the music kind of slaps. Welcome to the Wii Shop. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> but hopefully, hopefully everyone's having a good Wednesday. Today we're doing something new. I'm not doing any challenge today. We're not going for 100% today. I saw a funny game on TikTok and I wanted to play it. And that's what we're doing today. We are playing. Uh, I think it's called Trombone Champ. Uh, I, I assume it's some sort of rhythm game where you play the trombone. I've never actually played it yet. But it sounded funny, so we're going to give it a shot. Echo says they look like your average Californians. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, they really do. It's literally just that. That is them right there. But yeah, it's really interesting because uh, if you take a look at their uh, their channel here, they have like a bunch of classical music, and then they have their like Nintendo knockoff music, which is really funny. <laughs> but yeah, this is uh, this is their their music channel. If you would, if you are interested in using their copyright uh, free music. Mad props to them for spending the money just to make this kind of music so that we don't get taken down by Nintendo if they ever decide to turn against us. Yeah, long day at work today. Um, but we're at, we're in for a banger because we got stream today and we got stream tomorrow. Two back-to-back -to -back streams, not usually what I'm up to, but Friday I'll be traveling, so kind of wanted to make up for it with um with a Thursday stream. And Thursday will be doing a, I think a roguelike it's called gunfire reborn with uh with Fitzy tomorrow so that'll be exciting mercenary says seems someone wanted to expand on that segment of road 96 related to the ch trumpo <laughs> that's a good one yeah it seems like it but yeah if you guys aren't familiar with how ridiculous trombone champ like looks like I don't know if I can Pull up the Steam page real quick here. Let me grab the link. Tom Bone Champ. This is their Steam page, and this is the game that we're playing today. This. So it looks like you play primarily with your mouse, and then you kind of like hover wherever the notes are. 2D2 says, what instrument do you play if you do? I actually don't play any instruments. Uh, it's actually kind of a bummer because as a kid, I wanted to learn how to play an instrument, but my parents didn't let me because it costs money. So I had to find things that didn't cost money, like running outside, walking, getting lost in the woods. You know, back when kids used to play outdoors. Thank you for the look, Fitzy. Appreciate you. Hope you have a good one. Thanks for stopping by. Good to see you. And we'll be, I'll be prepared for, for tomorrow. It's going to be fun. 2D2 said, I played trumpet. Yeah, my mom did that, yeah. I just had to find anything that was free and my parents would be on board with it, but I couldn't convince my parents to spend money on me as a kid. That's pretty much how that works. Like, I get food and I get housing and I had to find ways to entertain myself <laughs> for free. <laughs> Fizzy says, making dinner? All right, sounds great. Hopefully you find make a banger dinner full of protein and gains. <laughs> but yes, this is the game we're playing today. I'm, I'm actually super excited. I think I mentioned on the Discord that I w was potentially worried about copyright, but uh, if we get a strike today, it's not that big of a deal. I'm not monetized anyway, so it shouldn't be that big of a deal. Yeah, I got Trombo Trombone Champ installed. I bought it today. It's only 15 bucks. Consider uh, I guess 15 is a lot because I don't know how long the game is. But yeah, I did read a, a review that it gave them motion sickness, so I'll try to be careful. If I get too mo motion sick, then we might have to call it. But uh, as long as there's a way to turn off motion blur or something, I think we should be okay. But yeah, I'm excited for this game. 
uh, I was actually really looking forward to it. That's why I put it on on the calendar for this week instead of um, Jack and Daxter. Because Jack and Daxter is fun, but this one looks hilarious. So let's go ahead and switch on over to that. So we'll pause the fake mu Nintendo music, the fake Wii Shop. Welcome everybody to Trombone Champ. There we go. I don't have a save, so this is well, I'm seeing this for the first time with everybody else. We'll see how this goes. See if if I can live up and I guess really just experience the band kid experience. I've heard so many tales of the band kid, but I've never been one. So I guess this will be my look into the world of band camp or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> And so it comes to pass. Wait, this is actually super dramatic. Ages after the twin vessels were forged, a new soul appears. Is this Dark Souls? Brave soul. One day you will stand before two baboons. Why is this so serious? What the heck? One day you will rend the very fabric that binds this land. With my trombone but until that day comes you must toot, you must toot. <laughs> toot your trombone brave soul this is so and good you may yet become the trombone champ wait why is it so intense wait what what is this yeah that is one heck of a start what there, is there like trombone lore <laughs> Is there a plot to this game? I thought this was like a fun, like, you know, laughing, giggles kind of game. <laughs> I'm not sure what that was. <laughs> Welcome to Trombone Champ. Choose play to play the main game. Afterwards, many secrets await thee. Ah. This kind of reminds me of like the Super Smash Ultimate like menu, the way that it's laid out. Gotta make Mozart proud? Oh yeah. <laughs> we gotta do him justice here. Let's turn down the music a little bit here. Master volume. Funny jump scare, we'll leave that on. Allegiance, baboon quality. Most, mostest? What, what does this mean? Baboon preference? Default, inverted. Mouse speed. Can I change, can I turn on VSync? Let's turn on VSync. There we go. The resolution is also off, it should be this one. All right, so now I think we're good to go. This game is actually not even like a gig. It's like 500 megabytes, almost 600. So just over half a gig in size. Oh, you can do improv too. This will be interesting. Choose your tromboner. <laughs> Why did it? All right, who, who are we playing? What tromboner are we today? Germajesty, Horn Lord, or so. Wait, are these streamers? Is this soda popping? I'm so, I'm so confused. Are these based off of real people? Horn Lord sounds hilarious though. Jer Majesty. I'm, we're gonna go with the Horn Lord today. We'll, we'll we'll choose Horn Lord as our tromboner, and then I guess we we can unlock more than just brass. All right, we're we're giving it a shot. Now this just looks like DDR. <laughs> what what is this menu? I'm so confused. They introduce a story. They tell us to choose a trombone tromboner, like we're selecting a character in Smash Bros. And now it's turned into DDR. All right. Well, there's a warm up, so I guess we'll just play the warm up. We can only play the warm up. That's the only option. You got Tears, Fury, Slides, Dutes, and Spunk. We can adjust the scroll speed. Okay. Hopefully my mouse sensitivity isn't too bad for this. How to play? Move the mouse forward and back to move the slide. Line up the dot with the note lines. All right. Press the left mouse or any letter to toot. Using the keyboard may be easier on your wrist. Yeah, I think I'm gonna use the keyboard. If you play well, you build combos and increase your champ meter. This is how you get big points. Watch the breath meter. If you hold a note for too long, you'll run out of breath. Most of all, have fun and enjoy the beautiful succulent music you will soon create. All right, I'm excited. Let's see how this goes. Hopefully it doesn't crash. Here we go. Oh god. Oh 
Oh my god. The controls are inverted. Oh. Wait, I'm dropping my combos. Okay, alright. We're off to a good start. Dude. Oh, shoot. I need to uninvert these controls. I'm so confused. Because up is down and down is up. Yakuza prepared me for this? Kind of. I think Yakuza karaoke is a little easier. Oh my god. Oh, I'm a six, six times combo. Look at that mouse control. Okay, I think the fact that they inverted the controls is just... That's intentional. They, they made it tricky on purpose. PD2 says you play with controller or mouse. I think mouse is the only way to play this game right now. Uh, usually I just play whatever like the developer recommends, but um, in this game it seems like there's only mouse. Let me change my settings real quick, because that was too much. So the default is inverted, we want not inverted. Let's see if that does anything, or if that makes it slightly easier for us. We're still playing Horn Lord. we're good to go. So we've got warm up, we got an A on warm up, we gotta go for the S. We gotta do well on the warm up at the very least. There are bet between two and four spiders living in the average trombone. Please don't tell me that. <laughs> I don't need to know that. Okay, here we go. Oh, the precision is up there. Yeah, changing the direction was a game changer. Yeah, inverted is just evil. They, de they designed that on purpose. I like how they have the hip hop beats and the air horns. What is happening? All right, let's go. I don't think we'll S, but I think we'll get at least another A on the one up here. The evil game. <laughs> yeah. Actually requires so much focus. And there are even lyrics on the bottom. <laughs> the little toot at the end. <laughs> Alright, we got the S. Let's go. Alright. I just got an achievement for that too, which is nice. Wait, there's a toot currency. I just got 400 toots. So I think we'll play as many songs as we can. Is there a difficulty select? I don't think so. All right, we'll do ball game. Are you tromboning? We're, we're tromboning as much as we can. The first trombone was invented in two, 20, 20 million BC. Wait, these, these are fake facts, right? Oh my God. The slides are tricky. <laughs> this is hilarious. <laughs> if I ever get back for it, root, root for the home team. If they don't win, it's a shame. Or it's one, two, three strikes, you're out of the whole ball game. <laughs> the air horns are so unnecessary. Oh, I'm dropping it. People booing me in the background? I'm trying my best! <laughs> no! There we go. Take me out to the bar or something. Something, 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 something. Something, 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 something. Something, something, something. Something. I can't read the lyrics and play at the same time. It is a shame. Four is one, two, three strikes, you're out of the old ball game. I think we kind of redeemed it back at, at the end there. 
Who just uses fake trombone osu? Yeah, it pretty much trombone osu. Singing champ? I wouldn't say singing champ, but it was a solid attempt, I think. If I could just learn the lyrics. Mercy says the baseball song is from a Broadway mu musical that was written by someone who had never actually been to a baseball game in his life until after he wrote and released it over a century ago. Now. Wait, that's actually so nuts. That's the lore behind that song? So it's written by someone that didn't even consume baseball until they dropped the, dropped the banger. All right, some of these songs, I don't think I'm gonna know. I'm concerned about this one that says baboons. I feel like that might be, <laughs> that might be a trap. We'll, we'll go into the uh, old gray mare here. The difficulty is up there though, I'm concerned. It was like four or five stars. We'll see how this one goes. Oh God. Oh, they're, it's gliding everywhere. I like how the horses are just popping up. Bear, she kicked on. I don't know. I can't read the lyrics. <laughs> my bra my peripheral vision isn't that good, apparently. I'm not gonna lie, this song is kind of a banger, though. I feel like this game would be really good with mods for custom songs. I wonder if there's like a, a marketplace for it. <laughs> no! All these dang horses! I think trombone might be the hardest instrument ever. I've never seen it. Like, I've never once considered how difficult it would be to play a trombone. Because like you can't even, there aren't even like, if you think about it, on the trombone there aren't like any definitive notes. Like on the flute you can press down a hole and it will generate a note, but on a trombone you just have to guess where the note is. Alright, track select. Mercer says, yeah, that is a story about that song. It's all about what was described to him at an actual ball game. So he based the whole song on what he had heard was reported on in the papers. Oh, I see. So it's like using context clues, he built a song that became the anthem for baseball. <laughs> I guess it's interesting. Imagine making a song or product out of something that you never experienced. Wait, is it me? Or maybe there is like that on many products? 56 nasties. Hey, we don't talk about the nasties. I feel like... Yeah, I don't know. I think a lot of songs, people don't experience those kinds of things. Especially like in music nowadays, like when people talk, like especially like rap music, I feel like a lot of that is flourishment. Oh my god, this is so fast! Wait, this is there's a beat on this. Oh my god. Wait. There's so many squigglies. Do, 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 do. Oh my goodness. Is this classical music? This is so bad. Wait, I can't even like figure out what the rhythm is. Oh, this is taking all my focus. Like, I vaguely recognize this. And now I'm just butchering it. Oh, 
<laughs> yeah, I'm not getting the trombone champ on this one. I might need practice. Holy cow, my wrist. Mo Mozart has the freaking drip. Yeah, that song was kind of a banger. Jada says, I imagine the hardest song are all squigglies. <laughs> yeah, you just have your arm flying all over the place trying to hit the squigglies. Now I need images of Mozart with drip. Is that an actual thing? I bet someone's photoshopped it. Marcin says, I know this, the song like the back of my hand. Mozart didn't live very long from what I recall. He didn't even make it to 40. Ah, rip Mozart. Could have released more bangers if he stayed alive. All right, trombone skies. I wonder what this is going to be like. The highest note playable on the trombones is so high pitched that I couldn't finish it. Here we go. Wait, someone's singing in the background? This isn't too bad. <laughs> Wait, this is also kind of a big. I lost my champ status. This is like trancing. Is that a tr flying trumpet in the background or a trombone? This sounds vaguely familiar. I don't know where I've heard this before. Maybe this is an original, but it sounds similar, or it's somewhat familiar. I'm not gonna lie, this game is really fun. If you guys are interested, I would honestly kind of recommend you try it just once. And if you don't like it, you can just refund it. Please don't drop my combo. Every time I get champ status, I lose it, like, almost instantly. The resident choker. What is this? I'm kind of curious as to what the lyrics are saying. Oh, there's more. And it makes me want to fly high, it makes me want to fly so high. <laughs> That's actually a really fun song. I like that one a lot. Trombone Skies is my favorite song so far. Did I get an S? I was halfway to S too. I feel like I could. I could. 469 toots from that one. We unlock more songs after Sugar Plum Fairy. This piece from the second act of the Nutcracker Ballet is instantly recognizable and has earned enormous popularity. I I don't know it when I read Sugar Plum Fairy, but I'm pretty sure if I hear it, I might recognize it. They probably use it in movies or something. This is like Christmas music. <laughs> what the heck? How is this not copyrighted? Is it public domain? Oh, I got the champ. I don't remember this part. I feel like using this might be better than using Aim Labs 
if you're like trying to get good at an FPS, like Valorant, for example. The people walking in the background is so distracting. <laughs> Oh, we, we nailed that one. That one was good. Murray says, what is this? This is Trombone Champ. Welcome to the stream, Murray. <laughs> How's your Wednesday? Mission says that song is more than eight decades old, and most songs by around that time become public domain as of that point. Oh, I see. Well, that makes sense. So this is like their rendition of the Nutcracker. GG with an A. Yeah, I thought, I'm not gonna lie, I thought we kind of S that, but I must have missed something. 69 perfect. <laughs> That's just how it played out, huh? Alright, I do like this one the best. The, this electronic track is an attempt to capture what it feels like to play the trombone. Trombone Skies is really fun. Wait, it says this is house? Is that the genre up here? This is house music? Folk, sing-along, warm-up. Yeah, I'm curious to see what the achievements are like for this game. ASS? Yeah, I need to go for the ASS at some point. I'll have to revisit some of these tunes. Mary says today was long, but a good day. Well, hopefully, uh, you get some rest. Long days are, are exhausting. How am I? I'm pretty good. I was, I was actually kind of worried about this game starting into it, but it's actually really fun. It's, it's super funny. I don't know if you saw, but at the beginning, they had us choose a tromboner, and then you can change between all these tromboners, which is really interesting. Yeah, we've been playing through these. Today is a, a rhythm gaming kind of day. Looks like a fun game. Yeah, uh, I saw a TikTok that I was th I thought was really funny, so I wanted to give it a shot. It's, I think it's as fun as it looks. Okay. I wonder why this song is called Baboons. Why is There's so much shifting. I can't tell if they're supposed to be lyrics or not. Why are they showing up? There's pictures of baboons. I'm missing so many of these. Baboon. What is that? That doesn't even like follow any rhythm. All right, this is not gonna be a good run. I got a nasty on that one. Is the name of the song? Yeah, but I didn't think it'd literally just be Baboons. I earned it 390 or 339 toots. Let's see, I got 32 nasties. Ah, oh, bummer. It's a B. Is that my lowest rated song? That one and this one. Yeah, I think I only dropped down to B. Thank you for the like, Miri. I appreciate it. Hopping all the way over to YouTube for this smashing that like button. Alright, Zara. What is this? Zarath? Zarathustra? Zarathustra? Tone poem. The first part of this piece titled Sunrise became famous after being used in the film 2001 A Space Odyssey. I actually haven't seen that one. I haven't seen that at all. But isn't it like a pretty significant film in pop culture though? I feel like it's talked about a lot. Alright, here we go. All right, we're ready. We're warming up our wrist. Oh, I know this one. Dun dun. Oh, never mind. Is this still building up? Oh, that felt so delayed. 
Yeah, they're definitely just using public domain music. Another one. All right, come on. I didn't know that's what this name or this song was called. I'm kind of nailing this one. I'm like at max com combo multiplier. Did my guy just fart? I'm the champ. Wait, that was good. Marie says the, this movie has a great score. Yeah, I guess I'll have to check it. Yes, 407 toots. We got four OKs, but we got an S, so we didn't drop anything. Echo says a big meme is going to come on in the background. I can sense it. I can feel it. That was good. Yeah, I was surprised that like a, a giant baboon didn't just show up or something. This one is electronic music. This is kind of my vibe, I feel it. An original electronic piece written by the legendary maximalist Max Tundra. We, we kind of nailed that one. The Space Odyssey song, that was good. Gotta get Baboons an A and Longtail Limbo an S. Yeah, let's see if we can get, get S this one. Kind of feels psychedelic. I don't know if this one's gonna be an S. <laughs> this one's tricky. Oh God. The colors in the, in the background are so bright. Missing the notes sounds so funny. Like the amount of precision you need for this game is off the charts. What is this high note? That was tough. Yeah. Clap, clap. OBS, but complex, basically. Yeah. That was nasty. We got 16 nasties. Yeah, the B is kind of a bummer, but I think as long as I... I if we can prevent ourselves from hit getting a C, I'll be happy today. <laughs> Thank you for the clip, Marie. <laughs> Appreciate it. Entertainer. Is that the piano song? Piano rag, yeah. This piece performs solo or sold as rolls for automated player pianos. Sounds much better with the addition of a trombone. Wait. Do you see how big of a difficulty jump the entertainer is? Mary says, I swear I'll go slow on the clips. <laughs> no, the clips are funny. I was watching your clips from, from the other day. Today. I was I was dying laughing. They, they were great. Yeah, so this is what? Long Tail Limbo was five stars, and Entertainer is supposed to be uh, seven stars. All right, so th I think this will be our, like, maybe maybe where we're going to get skill checked. If we get C on this one, we're going to keep doing it until we don't get C. All right, here we go. How hard could the Entertainer be? <laughs> Oh no. This is. I had to move so far. I'm actually not doing too bad. 
I don't know this part of the song. Oh god. This is so bad. Oh, that was... <laughs> oh, did I get a C B? Oh, thank goodness. We didn't fall to a C. I was worried there for a second. Yeah, I think it was like the jumping back and forth was what makes it tricky. That was fun though. I actually thought that one was really fun. How many songs are there? There's a ton of them. Okay. Maybe th these are all the songs. We'll see. So I think what we'll do is we'll try to go through all these songs and try to get like an ASS lineup just for the fun of it. Let's do Skip to My Lou. Possibly derived from a Creole folk song, this dance was popular during Abraham Lincoln's youth in southern Indiana. Abe Lincoln. Interesting. Alright. Wait, why is this so fast? You too, my darling. Why is it so fast? It's not supposed to be this fast. Is it? Oh my goodness. My longest combo is two. The national anthems too. My longest combo is four. I'm <laughs> failing miserably. This song requires so much focus. What? Not the high notes. Oh, I failed that miserably. Patriotic battery? <laughs> I wouldn't say I'm that patriotic. I think Skip to the Lou is definitely one of the more difficult songs. I would say that was harder than The Entertainer. Based simply because I was not expecting how fast that was gonna come at me. All right, Star Spangled. Is this the United States National Anthem? It is. All right, let's see. Later given new lyrics and adopted as the national anthem of the United States, this song was originally written in 1780 for the London's Anacreontic Society. That's interesting. All right, I guess we're we're doing a little patriotic today. We're going, I don't know. We're playing the trombone for the Americas. Oh, say can we see? <laughs> Holy crap. Something. I start with a bear who's fine. Of my friend, as we watch, we're so gallant. Oh, the fireworks! That's so cool! A bomb's bursting in air Came through, through the night That our flag was still there Say the last stars made Oh, I'm a champ on this one too Oh, goodness. Mercenary says this was originally a tavern song, but retooled for the U.S. National Anthem to distance itself from God's name. Oh, I see. Yeah, the anthem was pretty lit, not gonna lie. 
I really like the addition of the fireworks in the background. That was super fitting. I enjoyed that one. What's the next one? Is it another anthem? It is not. It's Gladiators by Julius Husik. Is that how you say it? Husik? It's a march? The burger? Yeah. America. You saw O Canada? Oh, I didn't even see that. All right, off the. We'll get to it eventually. Named because of Fusik's, Fusik's personal interest in the Roman Empire, this has become one of the most widely known pieces of circus music. It's circus music. Oh, that means I'll probably recognize it when I hear it, but not based, of, based off of the name of the song. Oh, this is actually clown music. What the heck? It's so fast. Is this my anthem? Okay. It is so fast. I don't think I've ever heard this part of the song. I gotta chill with the, the squigglies here. <laughs> the trombone sounds so bad. I'm so sorry. was an experience for sure. Merchant said the previous anthem was retooled version of God Save the Queen without the British monarchy stuff. Oh, I see. So they just, just stripped it out of it then, huh? Everybody rise for Low Battery's national anthem. The clown music, please. <laughs> That's good. Let's see. Dysphorio says, hello chat. I was literally just watching someone play this game. Welcome to the chat, Dysphorios. How are you doing today? Hope your Wednesday is going well. <laughs> this is my first time playing, so it's been quite the experience. I've been enjoying it. Murray says, hello, Dysphorios. Yes, welcome. Good? Sounds great. Glad you're having a good time. I actually haven't seen someone play this game, like, live. But I saw it on TikTok, so I thought I'd give it a shot. It seemed pretty funny. Was this Ava Nagila? Am I saying that wrong? Evan. Yeah, I'm not even gonna try. <laughs> One of the first modern folk songs of the Hebrew language. This has become a staple at Jewish weddings and bar mitzvahs. This is a famous song. If if I play this, will I recognize it? Because I don't recognize any most of these songs based off their names, but when I play it, I I recognize it. To this day, scientists don't really know how to how a trombone makes sound. Wait, th there's no way, right? Marie says 100%. Oh! Why is this song so fast? Holy cow. I feel like I should play an FPS after this, because I'd be so warmed up from just playing this game. Oh my goodness. This is actually kind of a banger though. I would play this, like, on my commute to work. I'm pretty sure it'd, like, hype me up for the rest of the day. Like, just listen to the energy in the song. It's so lit. Oh my goodness. It just goes even harder. I 
can't keep up with the song. It's too good. Oh my goodness. Holy cow. Where he says only headshots after this? Yeah, I'd be so warmed up. Cause with all my flicks ready to go. Dysphoria says, I was so confused as to why I couldn't see the other person's chat, but then I realized they're watching on Twitch. Yeah, I'd stream on both, but I think the chat should be on the screen. You just it might be tiny. <laughs> but I try my best to read them all out. I'll go there, give me a sec. Alright, sounds good. Gosh, that was way too fast. LB Bar Mitzvah. I'd never be able to do that. <laughs> Welcome, artist. Natasha, Nat could you tell me how to pronounce that? <laughs> I appreciate it, but welcome to the stream. Hopefully you're having a great time. You're dysphoria. Oh, okay. Do you have a preferred username that you like to go by? Yeah, I like to have the, the cross chat. It's kind of nice sometimes. I think, okay, every time I encounter a hard song, I say that's the hardest song I've played so far, but I think this one is definitely maybe the top three hardest songs in this game so far. I don't know, just call me Lapis or something. All right, sounds good. Welcome to stream Lapis. Welcome to Twitch. All right, let's go with William Tell, an overture. Originally the overture for an opera, this piece has been widely used and widely parodied over time. Look at this difficulty star. What is this, three, six, eight? An eight star? Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I only know the name William Tell, not from its origin in like literature or significance in history, but because I play a game called Fate Grand Order and William Tell is a character, a servant that's been summoned in the game. That's the only reason why I recognize William Tell. A professional trombone player is known as a tromboner. I could have guessed that. Oh, I know the song. This is like racing music, right? <laughs> this is so funny. Oh goodness. Holy cow. What is the f the fact that the horses are just flying around in the back is cracking me up. This has got to be game of the year. <laughs> I feel like I should do like a tier list at the end of the year of all the games I've played. This is definitely like A to S tier. Holy cow. Are, they, are the horses speeding up? They're getting faster. All right, we got him. We got him. The horse riding song. Is this game from Nintendo? No, it's not from Nintendo. I it, I it think it's a an indie game. I'm pretty sure it's an indie game. Lapis says my godmother from Russia has a horse. Oh, really? Yeah, the game is definitely on Steam. I think it's PC only currently. Okay, the character looks like something from Nintendo. <laughs> yeah, it really does. It just ripped out of the Mii store or something. And it looks like a me or similar. Yeah, I was thinking the exact same thing. Is it Dutin time? Hey, Shishin, how's it going? <laughs> yeah, we're uh, we're playing. I was about to say tromboner, but we're playing trombone champ today. A little different from Hunt, but thanks for stopping by again. Appreciate it. We've been uh, grinding through all these songs. It looks like there's quite a few anthems here. We've got Stars and Stripes. We've got 
God Save the King. Wait, where's O Canada? And we got O Canada. We got everything. They pandered to every single audience possible. <laughs> but yes, welcome. <laughs> welcome, everybody. All right. I'm actually quite enjoying this one. This, I'm not gonna lie. Okay. So when I decided to add this game to this week's schedule, I thought it'd be funny, maybe for like an hour or so. But we're almost at an hour, and I'm actually having a blast with this game. It's like not too easy, it's not too hard, and it's just funny. I don't know. <laughs> I've been enjoying it a lot. All right. Blue Danube? Is that what it's called? She says tr tromboner. I mean, some songs might do that. Apparently, a person who plays trombone is actually called tromboner. I don't know if that's fact or fiction, but that's what the game told me. No, this game is hype, bro. Yeah, this game is pure hype. They even have Beethoven's fifth. Yeah, exactly. This game is so fun. I'm enjoying this a lot. Originally considered only a mild success, this Australian waltz has become the most popular piece of music in classical repertoire. Okay, so I'm assuming this is another one that I won't recognize the name of, but I'll recognize when I hear it. I can search it up. Hold on. The trombone dude. Okay, yeah. Please let me know if it's actually called a tromboner. Because <laughs> then I'll, I'll call myself a tromboner from now on. Oh, oh yeah. This is huge. There's no way no one doesn't recognize this. It's like in every film imaginable. On the banger scale, I would say this is a, a six and a half banger. No, I'd, I'd say a seven, seven out of 10 banger because it's like a certified classic. I'm missing every single note somehow. I find it like as we go on, it gets harder and harder to activate chant mode at the top. When you jump between the notes, it sounds so funny. <laughs> no! It sounds so bad when you mess up. I'm so sorry, I'm ruining everyone's favorite classical music. Today is the day I ruin everything. Oh my, I missed that so hard. There we go, champ. Oh, dang it. I got so excited, I immediately dropped my champ status. There we go. I feel like we're close to the end here. Let's go. <laughs> All right, let me catch up on chat real quick. Let's see. So tromboner means two different things. The lapis. One is very weird. Other is a person that plays trombone. Okay. So they were correct. We are technically tromboners today. POV L LB is dancing on his wedding <laughs> to this this banger of a song. Yeah. The champ thing is close. We did manage to get champ status for like a brief second. So I call that a win. But we got 72 nasties. I missed a ton of notes there. Sounds like farts. A little bit. Lapis says BRB. All right. Sounds good. Have a good break. The low notes sound like farts. Maybe I should just do free, free play and just do low notes. All right. Wait, there is free play, right? I'm pretty sure. If we go over to free improv, we'll go with the Horn Lord yet again. Panda says, are you trombone champ yet? <laughs> we're, we're getting there. Welcome to the stream, Panda. How are you? S rank speed run when? Oh wait, this is like actual. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you're right. The low notes sound like farts. There's like no, no doubt about it. Panda says work as usual. Oh no. Hopefully you have a great day at work. Hopefully it's not too, too.
too challenging for you today. Yeah, thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. Panda, I also do need to connect with you at some point uh, to work out a time to do collabs. Uh, I've been quite busy this past month, but I think next month I'll be trying to get get something together. So hopefully you'll have some time. But uh, I'll, I'll connect with you in DMs later. Marie says collect. Should I collect something? Spooktober, yes. Lots of uh, cool ideas that we could do this month. All right, so I think next we're gonna go with Stars and Stripes. We're just gonna go down the list like we have been. If you could tell, I'm getting worse and worse. I started off landing all these S's and A's, and now every single song has been a straight B. So I'm getting worse. Either I'm getting worse or the songs are getting way harder. On the menu, you have a collect option. Oh, I see. On the menu, there's a collect option. There's a, oh yeah, what is this? Collect? Welcome to your collection. Play the main game to earn toots and then spend them on tromboner cards. Can you collect all 50? Oh, wait, this is like a, a card game now too. What is this? Ball game is a nice song. I did enjoy ball game. So I have 6,000 toots and zero turds. Yeah, I think the songs are definitely getting tougher. So I can buy a sack for 499 toots. I can afford 12 sacks. Should we gamble? All right, let's open up some sacks. It is time to open a sack. Whoa, you can afford 12 packs. How many would you like to buy? I think we should start with one. Let's get a sack. What? Four fresh unique tromboner cards do not eat. This looks so sketch. It just says click the sack. Dude, gotcha, let's go. <laughs> yeah, it really is. Did I click it? Oh, I gotta keep clicking it. All right, trombone champ cards, let's go. We got JJ Johnson, let's go. <laughs> Lapis has returned, welcome back. We are now discovering that every time we played a song, we were collecting points that we could redeem for tromboner cards. So we got JJ Johnson, we got Al Gray, Gustav Holst, and Bill Latraus. Popular jazz trombonist of the modern era. Oh wait, it even has like their their lifespan at the bottom of these cards. That's the guy from Spider-Man. <laughs> wait, this is actually kind of sick. These are like actual historical facts about tromboners. 1924 to 2001. Wait, this guy passed away in 2018. Popular jazz trombonist of the modern era who studied with jazz pianist Herbie Nichols while serving in the U.S. Navy and was well known among trombonists for his technical skill and pleasant sound. Oh. So we have four. How many? Oh, they, they said there were 50 tromboners. Yes, Rip Bill. I'm sorry, Bill. It is a tragedy that you had to, to pass. All right. Next pack. Or, I mean, next sack. Nick Nitro says trombone. He's nuts. <laughs> Welcome to the stream, Nick. Welcome back. Yeah, this game is tons of fun. I've been having a blast. Wait, we already have Gustav. Wait, we can just get a trumpet card? John Philip Sosa. And Al Gray again. So we only got two new cards on that pack. Rip in peace. <laughs> All right. I think we'll go back, play another song, and then we'll come around back to opening more packs. Choose your tromboner. Just coming in for a sec, dude. Hope you're well and all that. I appreciate it, Nick. Thanks for stopping by. Yeah, hope you're doing well as well. <laughs> the double wells. But hopefully things are going well for you. I appreciate the support. Thanks for hanging out. He says, how many dupes for a five star? <laughs> for real. Versus says, appears to be all public domain stuff. Real is, yeah. I think they, I mean, that's a safe route, right? If you're an indie team, you probably didn't have the money to license a lot of things. It would have been cool if they licensed popular music, but I feel like that's where mods might come in. So I'm interested to see if there are already mods for Trombone Champ. Nick says, yeah, 100%. Also, yes. You seem like a chill dude. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right. So the next one, did we play this one? Stars and Stripes. After 1987, acts of the U.S. Congress, this became the official national march of the United States. There's a lot of like... Uh, Patriotic music in this one. Yo, we need the modded epic sax, sax guy. <laughs> yeah, that, that would be hilarious. Wait, we just need like to turn this into Osu, I think. Oh, 
Oh, I thought this was circus music for a second. Oh my goodness. Wait, I think I also missed a follow earlier. So I'll give you a follow shout out after this song so I don't die. <laughs> but I appreciate the follows and I'm glad that you like the content. The note changes are super sharp on this one. I'm not gonna lie, I don't think I've really heard this song before. Either that or I'm butchering it so bad that I can't even recognize it. Yeah, I don't know if I've heard this. I guess I'm not American enough. Oh no, now I've heard it. I know this part. I didn't know what the opening part was. No, I messed up. I was honing in on it too. Oh, God. what? Oh no, for sure these songs are getting way harder. <laughs> no. There's no way this is not like. This is so hard. Not the fireworks. Come on. I'm failing so hard. Just celebrating my failure. Wait, I'm actually getting close to champ status. Can we do it? No, I was so close and I missed it. Oh, what a bummer. What a bummer. All right, let's see what I missed. Oh, Lapis Follow. Thank you. I appreciate it. Glad you're enjoying the content. Circus music? Yeah, I think that was pretty much circus music. There's a lot of circus music. Definitely just public domain stuff. The sickness of every VTuber. Gotta go for the time being, says Akko. All right, thanks for stopping by, Akko. Hopefully we'll see you again next time. Appreciate it. I live in Murica. Me neither. I've never heard this. Yeah. The beginning was like way out there. I haven't heard that before. Mercenary says, I used to have to play this song all the time. From time to time. Oh, really? Man, I kind of... I feel like I missed out. Like not picking up an instrument growing up. But like the only thing I could have picked up was probably the kazoo. Welcome back, Fitzy. Because the kazoo doesn't cost any money to learn, so. And I don't think in the internet wasn't as big of a thing back then, so I couldn't have learned online, unfortunately. Alright, this is Scabbard. This looks like it's a, an original song, because it's been released by Holy Wow, which is the developer of this game. LB is the kazoo kid? No, I, I, <laughs> I'm not the kazoo kid, but I said if I had to pick up an instrument, it would have had to have been the kazoo, because there were no options. Lapis says the only instrument I've ever played was the recorder in third grade. Oh, I actually played the recorder too. Yeah, I think it was like part of like the elementary school curriculum or something. But it didn't last very long after that. The a ska song because everyone online seemed to want one. Are you happy now? Please leave me alone. <laughs> Wait, what? Is that the developer? Where he says, "Wait a minute." I'm not the kazoo kid. I I promise you that. I'm not the kazoo kid. <laughs> Without trombones, there could never have been ska. I think I have my recorder somewhere. I kind of wish I kept my recorder. I have no idea where it was. It's been so long since I've used it. I wouldn't be surprised if it's in a landfill somewhere. This is so fast. The BPM on this is so high. This kind of reminds me of like the anime beach episode for some reason. <laughs> oh god, it sounds so bad when I play it. All 
I'm just like spamming my button. Okay. <laughs> no. Surprisingly, despite this one being hard, it's fun because I like the, the jumping around that isn't like across the whole screen. This is a little fast. What is happening here? What's with the squiggles? <laughs> this sounds kind of horrendous, not gonna lie. <laughs> Alright, this part is banger though. <laughs> no, it sounds so much worse. Because I'm missing all the notes. <laughs> Definitely anime beach episode. It just keeps going. Wait, it doesn't end. Holy, that was a long one. All right, let me catch up. If he says the recorder was the recorder was required in my school too. Yeah, maybe it was like a American curriculum kind of thing. I wonder why we all had to play the recorder. I guess that's like a cultural experience that we all get to share that we had a recorder experience. Because I know when in elementary school, I was obsessed with playing the recorder because I w wanted to achieve like these recorder black belts. Like we would play, we would toot a little song on a little re recorder, like do 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 do, and then if we do it well enough, we get like a rubber band, a colored rubber band, and we're like, oh yeah, I got an orange belt in my recorder class. <laughs> I also failed miserably. I have a C on that one. Is that my first C? That is my first C. Scabbard is definitely a, a little difficult. He says, are we in training arc? Yeah, I would cons I would say so. Murray says, in Portuguese, the recorder is called flauta doce, translated to sweet flute. Oh, I see. And I also played badly the recorder as a kid. Wait, does everyone just have a recorder experience? <laughs> That's hilarious. Uh, Lapis says, what time is it for you guys right now? It's 8.42 for you? Yeah, it's also 8.44 80 for me. I'm a little late on responding, but... I think we're in the same time zone. Endless mode, let's go. Is there an endless mode? Murray says 9.42. Yeah, Murray's a, an hour ahead. Lapis says they also had the belt things. Yeah, the belt things were like my obsession. Fitzy says, I remember the belts. You got a little piece of colored string and tied them around your record. Yes, that's exactly it. Wait, we all had the same recorder experience. <laughs> this is a cultural phenomenon for sure. This is kind of like a repressed memory, like a suppressed memory, because like, I wouldn't actively remember this until, unless someone else had brought it up. I always had one of my classmates help me put the belt around my recorder. Oh my goodness. Is Hot Cross Buns on here? That would be hilarious. Is it? I don't think it is. Is Hot Cross Buns in the public domain? <laughs> Where he says I'm in the future, he very much is. Did we all go to the same school? <laughs> yeah, I guess maybe it's like the, I don't know. I wonder if they still do it in school, like in elementary school to this day. All right, it is time for Beethoven's Fifth, one of the most famous classical pieces of all time. Beethoven really killed it with this one. All right, let's go. I'm kind of bummed we got that C, so we're gonna loop back around and fix that C once we get there. Finally, Beethoven's Fifth, yeah. <laughs> oh no. Dun, 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 dun. Oh goodness. I think they're intentionally making these hard now. 
Wait, why is it so off? <laughs> Not the- No! Okay, this is actually really hard. Beethoven, why? Why did you drop such a banger? Okay. Alright, it's evening out. Oh, we're, we're making moves. We're going up. Up on the scale. I don't think I've heard Beethoven's fifth all the way to this point because I don't recognize what these notes are. But there are a lot of notes. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, we, we survived that one. Did I get a D? C? Okay, B. Oh, we barely made it to the B. Oh, that was rough. That was a little rough. Right, let me catch up. Let's see. I have a little brother, so eventually he can tell me if they still did the recorders. Oh, I see. Two years old. So we'll have, in a couple years' time, we'll have insider knowledge onto whether the uh, recorder belts are still a thing. Oh my god, it's the guy. This is not, because these days just play on their iPads. Back in my day, we played the recorder and had to learn to write cursive. I remember learning to write cursive. Oh my goodness. You learned to write cursive and all you did was just learn how to write your signature. You never used again. Lapa says, oh my god, I learned cursive in third grade, but we never did it again. Yeah, it's like a universal, we, we had the same curriculum or something. And now I'm learning to write Russian script slash cursive. Oh, I see. Panda says, never had to learn cursive. Consider yourself lucky. Cursive is like not even worth your time, in my opinion. Beethoven the dog. Person says, it was meant to be a tough song, even I played it. Oh, I see. Oh, Kimberly, hey, how's it going? Welcome back to the stream. Kimberly says, hi, low battery. Thanks for stopping by, I appreciate it. Hopefully you're doing well. Panda says, some parts of the song sounded like parts from Star Spangled Banner. It was kind of like a conglomeration of something. I recognized it at first and I started to lose familiarity with it about halfway through. It says you need to write in cursive and then never use cursive ever again. Yeah, they don't even like enforce it at all. Lapis says, hi, YouTube viewer. Let's see. Chisin says, I hated cursive with every inch of my soul. You have no idea. The cursive is a... I'm not gonna lie, I think it's kind of pointless. Because like, if you noticed, if you go to a store and you buy something and like they ask you to sign, you could just like draw a line and they'll take it. Like the signature doesn't even matter at this point, unless like you're you're writing a check or something. Cultured individual, this LB fella. <laughs> we're just sharing we're our agonizing childhood experiences. And it says, and when you do write in cursive, the teacher tells you your penmanship is terrible and illegible. Like, yeah, cursive is objectively harder to read in the first place. Why even bother, right? Mercenary says the song is tougher in the arranged versions. Oh, really? Wait, so I was playing the easy version. <laughs> and I was bombing pretty hard. Grimley says low battery. Yes. Thank you for the heart. Appreciate it. Lab says we all have the same experience. Yes, we are bonding over recorders and cursives. I don't know if you guys have ever experienced one of the like the joys of being in elementary school, but like one of the things I look forward to the most was the Scholastic Book Fair. The Scholastic Book Fair was actually such a banger event. You just go in and you'd look at all these cool little like fiction novels that geared towards kids, and I, and I loved every moment of it. I kind of wish I could have bought stuff, but I couldn't. But I got to live vicariously through my peers who were able to buy books from the Scholastic Book Fair. Panda says, I find it difficult to read in cursive. Yeah, I, I, this is not easy. Like, you have to, like, decipher hieroglyphics in your head to read cursive. Mercenary says, I still write cursive and it's been a boon for me. Oh, really? Well, that's good. I know cursive is slightly faster to write. It's just, like, I've grown accustomed to writing just in normal penmanship, so it's all... That's all I've known and done. Because he says we are all part of the hive mind. <laughs> exactly. Where he says I use cursive to this day. I, yeah, I only really use cursive for signatures. But also, like, I don't really write now because computers are a thing. I mostly just do typing. Kimberly says I'm good, low battery. How are you? Doing pretty great. 
I'm glad to hear that you're doing well. Maria says, but I also live in another country. Yeah, that makes sense too. I think in America, it's like, I mean, it's personal choice what, what you like. I know there, are, I know some people that write just in cursive, but I think a majority of them just write in print. Izzy says, my younger brother didn't have to learn it in school. I don't think it's required anymore. Ah, oh, times are changing. No more cursive for the kiddos. Lapis says, in school, I have to put my signature. I just write my name regularly. I see. Jason says, it was pointless. Uh, to this day, I still have not used it nor seen anyone use it. And we had to learn it. Like we were going to be using it daily. Yeah, honestly. Okay, so we learned cursive and I have forgotten how to write cursive except for my own signature. I can only write my own name in cursive, which is hilarious. I was says same. I'm catching up on so many chats. Sorry, guys, I'm a little behind. It says cursive is needed to read historic documents. And if you ain't adapted to it, you weren't allowed near those documents at all. Oh, I see. So it's almost like learning how to read it was the main goal, which makes sense. Fitzy says Scholastic is Pog, yeah. Scholastic Book Fair is the highlight <laughs> of the elementary school experience, I think. Lily says, you're welcome, Low Battery. I play violin and orchestra. Oh, really? I didn't learn any in instruments, unfortunately, but I, I really wanted to learn. I wanted to learn guitar. So, I bought a guitar recently, actually, so I'm planning on picking it up sometime soon. Fitzy says, get me the newest Guinness World Record book. Oh, yeah. No, oh, I totally forgot about that. It's like Guinness World Records, and it's like the Ripley's Believe It or Not books. Those were like the... The creme de la creme of the Scholastic Book Fair. We'll see if recorders are required. <laughs> yeah. Cursive is easy for me. I wish cursive was as easy for me. I can tell you guys in eight years, read faster. I'll be fast. I'm trying, I'm trying. We're, we're getting there, we're getting there. At least we can jam out to the trombone music. Yes, it's hard for me. Yeah, cursive is a... I think it's definitely like an acquired skill. Like once you get used to it, I feel like you just... You go all in on it. I try to write cursive from time to time just to refresh my memory. Oh, it's God Save the Queen. God save the king. <laughs> Send him victorious, happy and glorious. Long something to... I don't know the lyrics of this. God save the Are these the lyrics? I thought it was like Let Freedom Ring or something. I think is that like an Americanized version? Liberty. Am I might think of a different song. Am I doing the Brits a disservice here? Oh, we're champ status though. Now inside, let freedom ring. What what song am I thinking of? What did I miss? Mercy says people around the world still practice cursive and can still read it. Yeah, I, I mean it's a useful skill. I just can't write it. I've forgotten most of it. British battery. <laughs> most English cursive is very similar to Russian cursive. Oh really? That's interesting. Welcome to the stream, just one. No more queen, now the king to get saved. <laughs> beans. That's <laughs> Murray. What? Beans? Oh, are the Brits fans of beans? Beans on toast or something like that? Never knew he was British. I, I'm not British. I'm as American as can be. Person says, as I said, the old Liberty song is a retooled version of God Save the Queen. Ah, I see. That's why the melody sounded familiar. Battery. <laughs> Battery needs some, need a drink of water. <laughs> It's, it's Tuesday, isn't it? Wait, it's, it's actually Wednesday. There was beans on the screen? Oh, I missed it. British battery. This one says, I'm playing trombone champ and I find you. Oh, welcome to the stream. Glad you uh, are willing to join us. Have you finished trombone champ? I'm actually having a lot of fun with it. This game is so meme -y. I love it. This is fantastic. Kimberly says, God save the king. The lyrics are online if you want to look. Oh, okay. I'll have to check that out. I do want to like, I think we're what, four songs away from at least doing them all once. So, let's, so my plan is to knock out these four songs and start opening up some some card packs or card sacks or whatever they're called. It's Wednesday, my lads. It's Wednesday, my dudes. He says this game is bringing a lot of new viewers. That's great. Yeah, it's kind of nice. Uh, the game came out quite recently too. So it's been a lot of fun.
Lapis says, I've been coughing all day. Might be sick. I don't know. Oh, that's a bummer to hear. Hopefully you get... Feel better. Uh, bed rest is always super helpful too. I find that when I'm about to get sick, sleeping helps a lot. I don't know what the song is. Is this more clown music? There's a lot of clown music. What's kind of nice about this song is that there's not a lot of vertical movement here. Is that a pretzel? Did I just see a pretzel? I'm getting so distracted by the background. Alright, let's go. It sounds so bad when I mess up the note. Right? What the? <laughs> What's up with all this stuff flying in the back? Is this like stadium music? Alright, uh, I say we nailed that one. <laughs> kind of. Maybe. Marie says, take care, artist. Yes, hopefully you feel better. This says, no, I try to get money for the secret ending. Wait, there's a secret... I totally forgot. Oh my goodness. I was so immersed in like the novelty of this game that I forgot that they presented us plot at the beginning of the game. Like the epic opening. I totally forgot that happened. But yeah, so I guess the secret ending is gated by money. I'll have to grind that out. I wonder if I can get that today. That was in K and D, I think. Ah. Uh. Lapis says, I think I'll have to go to school tomorrow. So bummer. Oh, that's no fun. It's a polka song. Oh, it's a famous German song. I see. It says by a Czech musician. Popular in World War II. Oh, it's time for O Canada. Let's go. This one says, for the first, you need to get S rank for four songs and do, just do the most simple songs. Oh, I see. I think we only have one S, right? So we need four S's. So we got, no, we have two S's. We have S on uh, Zarathustra and warm up. So we just need two more S's. I think we can S ball game. Thank you for the advice though. This one is, this one is carrying our trombone champ run today. Lapis says, I'm going to go now. You have a good stream. Nice meeting you, Of course, of course. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. Hope you have a great rest of your night, and hopefully you start feeling better. Have a good one. Mary says, I know this because where I live, there are a lot of German culture. Oh, I see. Let's go with, uh, I mean, we only have two more songs. Let's do, yeah, let's just knock them out, and then we'll go for the, the S's. Prehistoric trombones were 40 feet long and could weigh over 600 pounds. That's not real, is it? Is that a real fact? Oh, Canada. I don't know the song. Something. True patriot love in all of us. Um, man with love. Okay, I'm not even gonna bother. <laughs> I can't. I can't read the lyrics. Every time I get the champ status, it just falls off. Oh no. This anthem is... It's not bad. Canada, you need a, a more hype anthem. <laughs> This, this anthem is too polite. Alright, well, we nailed it. Not too bad. Wait, I, we could have S'd that too. If I paid attention, I think I could have S'd that. We might have to S O Canada in one more song. Alright, this is another original. 
our sad attempt at composing a merengue song, a fast-paced Latin American dance originating originating from the Dominican Republic. Wait, this is almost Max Stars though. This one says, "Are you also in Twitch?" Sorry, I use bad English and don't know I'm Italian. Oh no worries. Yeah, I uh, I stream to both YouTube and Twitch at the same time actually. So you can just watch uh, wherever you prefer. That says, I saw this game on Twitter a few weeks back, and I was gonna bring it up because it seemed interesting. Oh, welcome back, Tess. <laughs> but yeah, it's it's really really funny. I love it. Yeah, if you had if you had brought it to my attention, I would have bought it instantly. This is this is great. Tess has got a good eye for games. Marie says, "Cool, let's hear." Yeah, let's let's try this one. Some some Latin vibes. Let's see. Oh, wait, this is kind of hype. <laughs> the, the American bongos? Were those bongos? Oh, wait, no, th those weren't American. They're were, they were something else. But it was red, white, blue. It's kind of hype. If only the trombone didn't sound so bad. <laughs> I can tell that this is one of the, one of the more fun songs to play. What? What is this? What's a wiggle? <laughs> what? The wiggle was so funny. That was interesting. <laughs> that was that was very interesting. I would say. Oh, Chemical Kitty, welcome, welcome to the stream. How are you? This game is hilarious. Dominican bongos. Is that what that was? <laughs> I failed that song so bad. I gotta see. Oh, welcome to Twitch. This one. Appreciate you swinging over. Yeah, don't feel like you need to participate on Twitch or YouTube. Just watch wherever you prefer. But I appreciate you coming over to follow. All right. So this was saying. This one was saying that we needed at least four S's to unlock the secret ending. Murray says, I guess it's American bongos, you're right. Yeah, I couldn't tell. I didn't want to make like a blanket statement saying that it was uh, an American bongo or not. <laughs> All right. So we've played through every single song. So far, this game is a banger. Definitely top, top five games I've played this year. <laughs> but now, I said we, when we completed all the songs, we're going to open up some packs. So let's collect. What concerns me though is that this one was saying that we need some of our toots to unlock the secret ending, but I want the cards. I only have so many. Can we just buy everything with our toots? Buy the DLCs? All right, let's let's just buy some buy some packs, or not packs. What are they called? Sacks. Let's buy some sacks. I'm gonna burn all of our toots. This one says I prefer Twitch. All right, sounds good. All right. We got Jay Strauss the second, Austrian-born composer. Can I don't know if I can pronounce that. Polidoro da Cara Caravaggio. Nice beard. Yeah, no, his beard is kind of a banger. <laughs> the sack butt. What? Do you know that early trombones from the Renaissance and Baroque eras are sometimes called sack butts? Yep, it's true. Look it up. And the slide. All right, we're gonna grind through these packs real quick. Red eye, the red eyes, black baboon. Wait, what is this? What the, what the fuck is this? This is. <laughs> this is definitely a play on the red eyes, black dragon, right? The, the, there's no other reference that this could be. The the red eyes, black baboon. We got the sack butt again. Jack T Garden, and this music. <laughs> What? Okay, this is like the highlight of the game for me. This red eyes black baboon. That is hilarious. I love that. Okay. What's next? We got JJ John. Oh, we already have him. 
Oh, there's a normal baboon. There we go. I like how they're like holographic. The baboons are like shiny. The dick slide hide. American session tromboner. What do the cards do? I think they're just collectibles. I don't think they do anything for us. We, we're getting them anyways. Dax says of ETF. Why do they look like Hearthstone cards? <laughs> and they do. Dax says what I just walk into. We're opening up card packs for Chompo Jam. <laughs> Welcome to the stream, Dax. Click on the candle on the bottom right after unpacking. Oh, okay. I didn't see that there was a candle. Trombo Wait, there's a tromboner card about tromboner cards. Collectible cards featuring famous tromboners, legendary composers, and all sorts of incredible things. Everybody loves these cards. Collect them all or suffer the trash consequences. Next one is Blue Eyes White Baboon. I'm really looking for that one. I hope that exists. There's a normal baboon. Reich Manikov? I can't pronounce half of these names. I'm so sorry. All right. Candle at the bottom right. J.S. Bach. Al Gray, the bass clef. And Arthur Pryor. Wait, is there actually a blue eyes white baboon? Arthur Pryor. There's a hot dog. What? From 1421 to present. Oh, the hot dog's not dead yet. That's, that was hilarious. There's like no, like the lifespan of the hot dog is infinite. <laughs> what? This is, this is great. I love this. All right, we got the trumpet. We got Richard Strauss, J.S. Bach, Clyde Debussy. Wait, why is, hold on. Some of these letters are highlighted. They probably spell something, right? H-O, hot, hot D, hot dogs. Wait, what? And this, the the red in this text here just spells out hot dogs for like no reason. Does Claude is Claude Debussy known for his hot dogs, or or is it or is it hot dog because he's named Debussy? I don't understand. What is happening? Hot dogs will live forever in our hearts. Yeah, hot dogs are immutable. They are they are permanent. Max Tundra. Electronic composer. So Max Tundra is pretty modern. Glenn Miller, J.S. Bach, C.W. Gluck. Wait, what? That, what, what? Why didn't they do highlighting for this one? Wait, he, okay. What stood out to me in the description of C.W. Gluck is that he could eat 30 hot dogs in one sitting. Why is that a relevant fact? Is that fact or fiction? Is that real? <laughs> like, I don't understand. They're first to introduce trombone into ballet and opera. They wrote hot dog. <laughs> oh man. The hot dogs are ever persistent. Oh, welcome back, Marie. Alright, we got the normal baboon. We got Mozart Music Storm. Music Storm. This Austrian mage holds the key to the earwig of tempo key. What is this? I can't pronounce that. Bella Bartok? Wait. Half of these descriptions mention hot dogs. Yeah, he could eat a dozen hot dogs in one sitting. He could eat 30 hot dogs in a sitting. Well, why is that a relevant trombone fact? <laughs> I did not expect so many hot dog references in the trombone game. This is definitely catching me off guard. <laughs> I don't even think I've gotten all the cards yet. Dick Slot. Okay. All right. Franz Schubert. Here we go. His one up, one down collar style allowed him to more easily consume hot dogs. Richard Strauss, whether or not he ate hot dogs is unknown. <laughs> what is this? They're making shit up? Okay. They, I was like, these can't be real facts. Trombone. All right, cool. Often called the baboon of instruments, it is the alpha and the omega. <laughs> There's no way this is real. Trombones and hot dogs are inherently linked because of Mickey Mouse. Is that, is that the lore behind this? All right. Is there anything about hot dogs in this one? Glenn Miller. Extremely popular... No, nothing about hot dogs. The Glis Glissando. Franz Schubert. Wait, we're, we're not getting any new cards. What are the drop rates for these cards? The mouthpiece. Another hot dog. What is Babby? This ancient Egyptian deification of the 
Hamadryas Baboon, whose name translates to Bull of the Baboons, or Chief of the Baboons. He was a deity of the underworld and is very relevant to this trombone game. Why is it it's justifying that it's relevant to the to the game in some capacity? Alright, what's next? We have so many. Tchaikovsky, let's go. He could eat eight hot dogs in one sitting. Alright, trombone cards. Have we opened up all our packs yet? There's so many cards. Facial hair prevents him from eating hot dogs. Okay. I can't believe I skipped out on all this flavor text. All right, so we don't even have all the cards yet. Can we sell cards back? We can build a card. Welcome to the stream, Kato Cetos. How's it going? We can build this card or we can make the card a turd. You own two copies? Is there even any point in having dupes? Because we have three JS Bach. Can we get a turd from it? You have more than one duplicate. Would you like to turd? Let's turd all the duplicates. What do we do with the turds? Oh, we can make a card with turds. I see. This is how you unlock cards. This, this is literally Hearthstone. Tchaikovsky, let's go. Low battery. <laughs> Dax says you didn't learn all the hot dog facts. That's true. We need to unlock them all. Yeah, I think... Turds are the equivalent of dust. Hearthstone dust. So we just have to turn all of our duplicates. Alright. You own one copy. Yeah, we don't want to turn our only copy. Let's just unlock them in order. So we're missing this one. Are you sure you want to build it? Yeah, let's go. This is, uh... Tommy Dorsey, this American jazz trombonist. As an American, he probably ate a lot of hot dogs. That's all they had to say about this guy. He's American, so he probably had a hot dog or two in his lifetime. Who wrote this flavor text? I I'm all about supporting indie games, but what in the world am I playing right now? We have four copies of Dick Hyde. All duplicates. I'm not even playing the trombone anymore, really. This says, why don't, why you don't have the candle in the bottom right? I don't know how to unlock it. Oh, maybe I'd have to unlock all the cards because I'm not seeing anything. All right, let's build this one. What is this? Gustav Mahler. Let's see. Due to his Jewish ancestry, his compositions were banned. Wait, there's no, no interesting hot dog fact with that one. All right, let's... We had to turd so many cards. Yeah, I don't know why I'm missing some features. Maybe uh, I'm not. Maybe I need more S ranks. Yeah, let's let's nuke some of these cards. Can we like actually buy all the cards with what we have? Let's build this card. Uh, this is gonna be Roswell Rudd. Uh, he could eat 900 hot dogs per nanosecond. Okay, that's a that's a complete fabrication. No one can eat 900 hot dogs per nanosecond. <laughs> what? That's just outrageous. What is this? No one's gonna believe that. I didn't have all the cards when I spotted it. Oh, I wonder. Maybe I have to leave and come back or something. All right, let's let's turn all our dupes. I don't know. If the game is saying it, it must be true. That, that's right. The game doesn't lie. The game never lies. <laughs> it can't be can't be true. Or it, I mean, it, this is the gospel. This game is the gospel. All right. Let's, uh... How, I don't think we can build all the cards right now. We don't have enough turrets. Melaliston. She could eat 10,000 hot dogs in one sitting. <laughs> the numbers just keep, keep getting bigger. It starts off with a dozen and then 30, and now they're eating 10,000 hot dogs in one sitting. This one says, have you played all the songs at least once? I think we have. Let me go double check. Design your own. Oh, that's a cop-out card. All right, let's see. I'm pretty sure. Wait, we have a lot of things locked, though. Why do we have things locked? I mean, I think we've played everything at least once. 
Maybe I have to pass with more than a C. Oh wait, we missed one. How did I miss this one? Auld Lang Syn. Classic folk song commonly sung on New Year's with lyrics from a Scottish poem and music based on traditional Scots folk melody. All right. Well, that might explain things a little bit. Cows love the sound of a trombone because they are smart. I can't... Can, they, can that even be scientifically proven? Oh, I know the song. This game is really something else. Alright. Wait, this with the beat is kind of a banging song. Okay. If this isn't an S, I'm gonna be so sad. Maybe a high A? Wait, where'd that beat come from? What is happening? <laughs> what it? <laughs> Why are they... <laughs> they switch it up on us. Okay. At least the song isn't terribly difficult. Why is this so hype? That song was literally the definition of an emotional roller coaster. What a clutch tr performance, pro tromboner. Wait, we were literally right underneath S. No, we could have got it. This one says, when there are short notes, I don't understand how long they have to be played. I'm always wrong. Or I play them too much or too little. Yeah, I kind of just guess. A silver? We were so close. Hold on. I know we needed four, four S's. And we needed two more because we have two S's now. The one S that we want is whatever we just played. Because I think I can get the S on that one. And it's kind of a banger, so that works out for us. And then the other one is probably O Canada. We'll try those two. But let me go back to the, the card selects. I'm calling BS. Yeah, I got scammed. I got scammed out of my win. Is there a candle down here? Oh, there's the candle. What is this? Greetings, noble tromboner. Thank you for summoning me. My name is, well, maybe some things are best kept secret for now. I'll assume you summoned me on purpose and, and weren't just mindlessly clicking the chaos candle. Well, what say you, noble tromboner? Greetings. Only an inquisitive soul would find me here. Do you seek to become the trombone champ? Yes. Buddy, do you even really know what the trombone champ is? No. Well, you will in time. Yes, the baboons will show you the way. I can help you become the trombone champ, but I need magic to do so. And my magic requires sacrificing tromboner cards. What does my magic require you to sacrifice? Wait, why does my magic require you to sacrifice trombone or cards, you ask? It's best not to ask questions like this. Just go with the flow. So will you agree to help me? Sure. Excellent. Ah, uh, yes, yes, yes! I currently require Triple J, one DYO, and one Rimsky. Can you give me these cards? No. Oh, this saddens me. If you change your mind, summon me again. I don't have enough. I don't have enough cards. Can we this as cute? Yeah, <laughs> the little devil thing is a little cute. I, I give it that. Just a tad, just a teeny little bit. All right, what is this baboon thing? Explore the forgotten chamber that houses the treble clef. Is this endless mode? What is this? 
Why is it so cryptic? Wait, I can't click anything. Oh, there you go. Oh. I need the four S's for the, the baboons. All right, we gotta get another S. Who would have thought that there was a grind in trombone champ? All right, let's do this one again. It's S time. All right, hopefully my wrists are prepared for this. anything with like the lens flares and all that. No. Oh, I hope that was an S. I love the beat pickup. Yeah, they really switched. Let's go. We got the S. Let's do it. Marie says I was trying to read. Oh, it's Italian. The cards with the red symbol are what they need. So the cards you are missing, just build them. You don't have to find them. Oh, I see. We kind of nailed that one, though. Do, do we nail O Canada next? I kind of want to do a baseball game. Just because this one was fun. Marie says my father speaks Italian. Ooh. Multilingual family. I wish I could speak multiple languages, but unfortunately, I am not that talented. To the ball game, take me out to the bar or crowd. Buy me some something and Cracker Jacks. I don't care if I never get back or it's for the home team. If a shame for is one, two, three strikes, you're out at the old ball game. Something. Uh, there are no lyrics here. I feel like this is essible. I stop missing. I think I'm missing too many for the S. Uh, it sounds so bad when you miss a note. Okay, please, fingers crossed. I think it's just, I think it's an A. Oh, let's go. Wait, no, we didn't know. I hyped myself up because I saw the meter go all the way. Oh, we were so close. Okay. Just as Giga Chad music starts. 
Are you a baseball fan, Battery? I'm actually not really big into sports, really. I do watch basketball. That's the sport that I watch the most. This one says, I think you are very good at this game. I'm a noob. I'm trying to learn a little by little. Oh, you think so? I'm glad you think so. I think you'll get there. I do uh, have a history of playing a bit of rhythm gaming, so that might help. I'm gonna try this one because I missed like the first two notes instantly. Nice. I know we were so close to the S. See if we can maintain the champ status. We lost it. I'm not gonna lie, this song is really growing for me. I wonder why this song was even popularized. I, if I remember correctly, I think baseball viewership is declining pretty harshly. Alright, please, please give me that S. Okay, I, I give up on this song. This song is <laughs> it's too difficult. We're, we're going back to O Canada. <laughs> Get me into the Canada, Canada song. Where is it? Oh, Canada. This one says maybe I'm a noob also because I have a bad mouse and I use it even without the mat. Oh yeah. I feel like you're putting yourself at a disadvantage if you don't even have a, a mouse mat. That helps a lot, I think. Just being able to be precise with where your mouse is going. All right. If I fail this one, I'm going to be really sad. <laughs> this is so funny to me. Is that like a little like Phone in the background. I could have sworn I heard like a little like twinkly silent one. Or maybe it's like a triangle or something. Right. I think this could, this has potential to be an S. It has the potential. Come on. Oh, we blew S out of the water. Let's go. Okay. All right. We got our four S's. We're good. Pat myself on my back. Oh, Canada is very easy. You can do it. Yeah, we, we nailed it. We got it. Where he says Italian anthem would be cool. It's a very hype anthem. Oh, really? I haven't actually heard it. Probably one of the coolest. I kind of want to hear that. I'll have to check it out. All right. What do we need? Baboons. There we go. Unlock the baboon. Wait. Oh, there it is. What's in it? Nice, you are really good. Thank you. I appreciate it. How do you pronounce your username? Is it J Jate J Tui? Welcome to the stream. Glad you you enjoyed it. Maria says I know the Italian anthem because of F1 and Ferrari. Oh, I see. Well, if it's a banger, I have to listen to it. But I'm worried about the copyright, so I'll, uh, I'll check. Oh, you said spam on it. Okay. I wasn't sure what I was supposed to do there. Jatewi. Oh, I see. All right, thank you for helping me pronounce that. Welcome to the stream, Jatewi. How do I... Oh, okay. Hark! Arst thou the one who hath been a knocking on my little hatch? Yes. 
Ah, thou art truthful. That is good. Is a knocking not what hatches are for, after all? I seeketh the trombone champ. Is it thine wish to become the champ? Sure. Oh ho, that is good news. Alloweth me to introduce myself. I am the primordial baboon, Tootseeker Tom. Why would you name yourself Tootseeker Tom? Allow me to show you something. Feast thine eyes upon thy toot vessel. Click and hold on the toot vessel to awaken. What is this? What is it for? How does this affect my life personally? These questions are for which I have long since forgotten the answers. My bad. This I do recall. The toot vessel requires toots. Feed it toots and the cleft shall awaken. That's why it's called the toot vessel. You see, it is literally a vessel for toots. Anyways, fill the vessel with toots so that the treble clef may awaken. This is not the game of what I thought this game would be like. I did not expect there to be any sort of baboons or plot or anything. I thought it was just going to be a funny music game. I am pleasantly surprised that I'm getting way more than I bargained for. Tess says his parents named him that, obviously. <laughs> true, true. No one else could have done it except for his parents. All right, Toot Vessel. What is this, like the Aurora Borealis? The Toot Vessel awakens. Don't forget the hot dogs, that's true. We can't forget our hot dog effects. <laughs> Alright, we got a chest. Click that chest. Oh, shoot! I gotta click fast. Please. I don't know if I can click fast enough. Alright, we got it. We got it. That was unexpected. Congrats. You played the video game a lot and unlocked a thing. Character Polly, what? <laughs> what is this? At this time of year, at this time of day. <laughs> Dang, those are some quick clicks. Yeah, I was going, I was using both hands on those clicks. I wasn't holding back. Ah, so a chest of treasure poppeth out. Fascinating. However, I feel that there is more hidden within that vessel. Yes, I am certain that the toot vessel can be further awakened. Fill the vessel with toots so that the treble clef may awaken. All right, so now we have to earn money not only to give to the little demon candle guy, but also to put into the toot. What's it called? I forgot what it was called. I was just here. How did I forget what it was? Uh, okay, whatever. The toot thing, the toot vessel. Do I earn points from free play? That's another question. Can I even, like, recreate music? Yeah, okay, you know, <laughs> I'm not musically inclined. I can't do this, <laughs> unfortunately. <laughs> All right, let's let's play some more bangers. What was the one that I really liked? I liked uh, I like something that sounded really hard to pronounce. Or did we already finish it? Oh, I said trombone skies was really fun. I remember distinctly saying that. Use the polygon. Can you use a polygon? Is a character? Oh wait, it's right here. What is that? What? All right, we're gonna switch off a horn lord. Let's find somebody else. Uh, soda? Let's play soda. Oh wait, no, we can play as Polygon. Oh, these are extra characters. All right, Polygon it is. Trombone skies. This one says you need a total of 10k coins to unlock everything from the baboon. Right now. You have used. Oh, that's gonna be. That can't be that much of a grind. I think if I try to S some songs, I might get them naturally. I wonder if I get more hot dog facts. Ah, uh, the polygon. I remember why I like this one. I wish I could play this on DDR. I 
think I'm actually getting better at this game, which is kind of wild to me. Almost had it. Longest combo of 30. Not too bad. This one says with a demon, you unlock all the trombone skins. And I think one more thing you need for the secret ending. Oh. Do we have to use... Do we have to get S on every song? I feel like that would be challenging. This one says what key to use to play it. I've been tapping X. So like I use my mouse to hover over where I need to select or I need to click and I just tap X to, to play. Oh wait, we can... We can sort by difficulty? Maybe I should have been doing that. The battery dude is a pro trombone player. I try, I try, you know, we're we're getting there. I feel like I want to collect whatever this is first, the cards. So we need this card. So we need turds for that. So let's uh let's nuke some of these. Oh thank you for the follow, I appreciate it. <laughs> I'm glad you're liking the content. Let me... Should I turn these cards? Alright, so we got 600. We're good, I think. We can build this card. Uh, what was this guy? Rimsky Korsakov? He was a master of orchestration and could eat a whole lot of hot dogs, although the exact number is unknown. Okay, well, that, that's more believable. I think I have every card right. This one needs to be sacrificed, this one. I don't think we're missing a card. Let's try it. Come on, little devil man. Alright. Yes, I agree to help you. Uh, can you give me these cards? Yes. Are you sure you want? Yes. You have my gratitude, and here we go. I wonder what this is about. He definitely doesn't look suspicious at all. I'm surprised that there's genuine plot in this game. This blows my mind. Alright, let's go. Lightning fast. I don't even know if there's like a time limit, but I'm clicking it fast anyways. You played the video game a lot and unlocked a thing. Silver trombone. Can we actually beat the game today? Like, can we unlock everything today? I, I don't think it's unrealistic to think that I could beat the game today. I don't even know what achievements there are, actually. I have 7 out of 21. Receive an S score on 10 tracks. Oh, that's tricky. Receive an S on 20 or more. Oh, good God. That's a lot. That is a lot. This one says... Now I saw that it's really late in Italy. It's about 3.40 a.m. Oh, goodness. But I'll continue to watch the live. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. If you need to sleep, by all means, you should go get some sleep. But you can always watch the, the recording afterwards. But thank you for stopping by. I'm glad that you like my uh, tromboner gameplay. <laughs> I'm honestly having so much fun. This is genuinely surprising. 
because I thought it'd be a meme that we knock out in like an hour, but it's actually... I think this is a well-made mid game, honestly. It like really subverts my expectations of what I would expect from like a a little indie rhythm game. All right, let's let's try to fix some of our C ranks. There are more trombones on Earth than there are humans. I think that's a fabrication. 100% trombone champ. I don't know about 100%, but we'll try to unlock everything we can. Okay, I remember why I got a C on here this time. Like, I can't even speak. This song is so hard. song is so hard. Oh. See, the thing is, like, I wouldn't think that I'd be missing these, but I'm getting all these X's. I don't even know if I'm going to get to see. I think I have to start with lowest to highest difficulty and like build up my trombone or confidence. This sounds awful. Oh my god. Is this the hardest song in the game? <laughs> oh no, it sounds so bad. Oh no. Chichilla says, nah, it sounds great. <laughs> I mean, yeah, depends on how you look on it, but welcome to the stream. Thanks for stopping in. Appreciate it. I think this this song is going to be like my toughest challenge yet. This might be my Sekiro, the big ska vibe. Oh, I was so close to the B too. No, that song is so hard. Look, I got 209 nasties. That's horrendous. That's like over half the notes I've missed. That is nuts. All right. Let's go in order by difficulty. Now, I just need to figure out where the, the list starts. That's the real question. All right, so difficulty wise, if I look on the left, there's a one star. We've got that. Warm up. Okay, so this is the beginning. So let's try to S all the easiest songs. So God Save the King looks like it's s -able. so we'll try it. Oh no. If I don't S this one, I'm gonna be so sad. Thank you for the follow, Pinky Doodle. Appreciate it. I'm glad you like the content. Hope you're having a great Wednesday. Okay, wait, can we get the champ status? We're pretty close. <laughs> There's so much patriotic music. Wait, is that the 
Big Ben or something? The, the clock tower? Oh, that's the beans that Murray was talking about. I totally missed the toast and beans. British Barry strikes again. Oh, yeah. Uh, I got an S, so I'm certified certified British at this point. I am the most patriotic British battery there is. Easy? <laughs> yeah. It was easy enough. I think I can S ball game. I don't know why I kept missing ball game. Because apparently it's easier than O Canada. Alright, let's try ball game. We'll get it. We'll get it. We'll get these S's. You got this, I promise. Alright. I believe in myself. I believe in the you that believes in me. Okay, I missed already. Hold on, hold on. That was just a warm up. We're gonna we're, we're gonna nail it this time. Take me out to the ball. Me out to the crowd. Buy me some peanuts and cracker jack. I don't care if I never get back for his work for the home team. If they don't win, it's a shame. For it's one, two, three strikes are out of the home ball game. Something like that. I don't know who any of these baseball players are. I was doing so well and I just I threw it all away. Doesn't count. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's not an S. Oh no. How do I get a high score on this thing? What's my high score? 15? 1 million and a half. So, Alright. We, well, we've done it not once before, but we'll try to do it once. <laughs> I was about to say we've done it once before and we'll do it again, but we haven't done it once before. I'm going to have nightmares about the song, by the way. What makes this song so difficult for me? Because it's like not even the, that big of a jump between these notes. Battery at the home plate. I, I think I dropped the ball again. What? Do you guys see this? I'm, I'm, what? I'm at the precipice of getting an S. This happens every time. I don't understand. I even blew, I beat my previous high score. That was the best ball game I've done. Can't even see the mark. Yeah, I'm literally right on there. Oh, that's such a bummer. I got scammed. We're getting scammed. At the very least, we're getting a bunch of toots. I might just move on to the next one. Let me check how many toots I've got. Alright, let's see. Well, I appreciate the moral support. 
Even though we got scammed, it was a learning experience. So that's a burn more. If I'm still here, which means I need more cards. I currently require one Jack T Garden, one Trumpet, and one Beethoven. I don't even have Beethoven. How am I supposed to give you a card I don't have? Alright, we'll save our toots for the next character. I'm gonna go with soda today. I want- I'm curious to know about like what other sounds we can get. Alright, let's try this one. We will use this to recover from the uh, emotional trauma brought upon us by ball game. They're so far apart. What sad of me is I gotta be on this one. No, I dropped my combo. <laughs> Why, what was with that pause? It's coming at me too fast. I can't tell if I'm missing notes or not. I think this is at least an A-worthy performance. Let's go! Okay. This says, why do you sometimes click down with the mouse after the nose? Yeah, I don't know. It's like habit. LB hits champ also. LB immediately loses champ. I mean, to be fair, I'm like the resident choker. <laughs> I can't I can't succeed once I think I succeed. Like when I doubt myself, I succeed. And when I realize that I've succeeded, I lose everything. Speaking of which, self-plug, I think this would be a good opportunity. Uh, I posted a new TikTok today explaining just that, actually, from our Ori in the Blind Forest stream. Let me see if I can get it pulled up here real quick. Uh, TikTok. I don't know how well it's doing, but I posted it, so it's it's happening. All right. About to go drop a TikTok follow? Thank you. I appreciate it. It means a lot. All right. Let me uh, switch off the sound. All right, so I think the game sound should have stopped. But this is pretty much exactly what I'm talking about here. Look at these insane platform. Look at these average platforming skills. <laughs> it says, I love how every time you hype yourself up, you start choking. Hey, we don't talk about that, all right? I can never hype myself up anymore. It always leads to, uh, leads to disappointment. Look at these insane platform. So I learned the lesson the hard way. Look at these yeah, TikTok has been an interesting journey. I don't even know how like the numbers work, but it's fun to edit. And I think this one is still by far my favorite TikTok. Do, do spiders bother you? Yes. If you do not want to see a spider on the screen, press the button twice. Are you okay with seeing a spider? I don't want to see a spider. Don't show the spider. 
Wow, you really, really do not want to meet the spider. <laughs> Before we do this... Alright, that's enough of the plug. I was just, that one moment reminded me of that TikTok. We're getting there. The editing is nice. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, I, I really enjoy editing. So it's something that I think I'm competent at, at the very least. Okay, so let's see. We have Scabbard as C2 and Trombone Fuerte. I think we can try to get this one. I remember this one being kind of fun. Let me see. Can I see how many, how many toots I have? I might grind a bunch of toots off stream and then open up next stream with this, but we'll see. Fill the vessel with toots. Do you have enough? We have enough toots. This one says, I just followed you on TikTok. Thank you. I appreciate it. I'm glad you guys are liking the content. Yeah, I'm going to have to edit some sort of trombone champ TikTok because this game is way too funny to not have on TikTok. The toot vessel awakens. All right, what's our next goodie? All right. Can I click fast enough? Oh, we're getting there. Let's do it. You played the video game a lot and unlocked a thing. Sound set muted. What does muted sound like? Ah, yes. Well done, tromboner. A second chest, much like the first one, but I feel like there's yet more to be done. Yes, I am certain that the toot vessel can be further awakened. Fill the vessel with toots so that the treble clef may awaken. So how do we even get... Oh, I totally forgot that I muted it. Yeah. Thank you for the reminder. But yes, we unlocked a toot thingy. We unlocked muted. So we didn't miss too much. I don't know what it sounds like. I'm curious to see what it does sound like though. This one, do you remember what we needed for the secret ending? You just need to buy everything to unlock the ending? Is that how that works? I'm not really sure. Maybe I should look it up too. Let's do the William Tell song. This one seems challenging. All right. Oh, this is the horse song. Not the horses. Wait, muted sounds so bad. I want my real trumpet back. This is, this is this is too much. The track is too much. The track is too. Much. We gotta get we gotta get the the trombone back. Muted is a struggle. Jeez, I can't believe I unlocked a worst upgrade. All right, let's try baboons. The horses flying across the screen. Yeah, they're funny. This says, "What did I write?" Are you using translate? Oh, that's totally fine. I can make it out. Really upbeat, but I'm missing it. Not the baboon bubbles. I kind of really want to unlock the blue eyes white baboon. Hard. 
All right. Well, that was good enough. All right. Ooh. I can't believe I've been playing this for like two and a half hours of this ridiculous game. All right. So I know I, I was like teasing that we might potentially beat this game on one stream. I don't think that's happening. It is, it is a weekday, and I'm still exhausted from Monday's super long stream, so I think I might wrap up for today. But it's been a lot of fun. I definitely will bring this back at some point. Pinky Doodle says, so do you play a lot of indie games? Yeah, I actually play quite a handful. I kind of just play, uh, actually, I think the last three weeks I've been playing a lot of indie games. I just play what I think seems pretty fun. Uh, last Friday, we beat Ori in the Blind Forest in one stream. That was like 10 hours. Uh, a couple weeks before we played, we started and finished Pokemon Ranger, the original Pokemon Ranger for the Nintendo DS in one stream. That took 13 hours. That was a long stream, I will tell you that. And then the week after that one, we played Little Nightmares, which was really fun. Pinky Doodle says, nice. Well, I'll definitely join the stream again sometime. Oh, thanks. Yeah, glad you like the content. It's definitely a lot of fun. I like doing challenges. I think on Mondays, I try to go for 100% on a game. So the last game we 100%, like Maria was saying, was Dishonored. Um, I got all achievements, but the game score didn't update. So I'm going to have to reach out to like Microsoft support to see if we can get that fixed. But we're, we're getting there. I can't read that message, but I'm going to throw it into Google Translate. Let me see if I can uh, see what this means. Good luck. Thank you. I don't know how to pronounce your name but on YouTube. Thank you for stopping by. I appreciate it. Yes. Trombone Champ was a lot of fun. I think for sure my favorite card that we've collected so far is this one. The Red Eyes Black Baboon is some next level stuff. One of the most powerful tromboner cards, the Red Eyes Black Baboon, is a representation of the base cliff as it re relates to Babi, the Egyptian deification of the sacred old world Hamadrius Baboon. Can I like star this? This is like, I want to take a picture of this and frame it on my wall. That's how profound this is. This one says, read the message above. Nice people from all, world, all over the world coming to appreciate LB. Just one, let me see if I can find your message. He said, I'm using the translation to write since I don't speak English well and I don't want to waste an hour trying to write something. Uh, I don't know if you posted, you said, what did I write? But I didn't see anything out of the ordinary. You said, I can't hear the sound of the game. If you want to resend the message, I can read it out. Try to decipher it using the Google Translate. No worries. Yeah, we are going to be wrapping up stream. Um, let me switch over to just chatting real quick. I had a lot of fun playing whatever this game was, whatever this monstrosity was. <laughs> uh, Trombone Champ. If you guys are interested, Trombone Champ is available on PC. I think I got it just now for like $15. I'm in danger. Thank you for the routine. <laughs> I am definitely in danger. But yes, uh, let me play my jams. I totally forgot. There we go. Are just chatting music. Yeah, uh, just my casual shout outs at the end of stream. I have socials if you guys are interested. I'm on Twitter, Twitch, TikTok, and YouTube. Um, I've been trying to grow the YouTube side of things. I think my goal is to try to hit 100 subscribers before the end of the year. And we're getting pretty close, but it, I don't think it's totally unreasonable, but it's not the end of the world if we don't get there. But any support means a lot. I also have a Discord. Uh, if you guys are interested in talking off stream or have any suggestions for the streams or games that you want to see me play, I'm down to taking all of those. This one says, the long message you just read, if you see that I write badly, it's just a translator from Italian to English. Ah, uh, I see. Yeah, no, I, I totally read it fine. <laughs> the translate's doing a good job. I can definitely make it out. But I appreciate you taking the effort to translate your messages. It's it's very nice of you, and I appreciate it. When he says, have a good night. Yes, thank you. You guys have a good night. It's been a lot of fun. Uh, we're going to look for someone to raid on Twitch, and then YouTube will just end as usual. But let me see if I can find somebody real quick. Bye, everyone. Yes, thank you. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. I think we're going to end up raiding. Should we raid? Who should we raid? I think we'll raid 
my friend Faye Midway. Faye rated us on Monday, so we'll, we'll return the favor. Yes, that is the raid message. Murray, thank you. <laughs> I always forget, but that is the raid message uh, for the Twitch raid if you want to participate. This one says, now it's 4 a.m. in Italy. I'll go to sleep. All right, sounds good. <laughs> oh, we have a good night, this one. I appreciate you stopping by. All right, I'll go ahead and start the raid. And hopefully, I'll see you guys there. If not, I'll catch you guys later. Have a great rest of your night. Bye.